Welcome back, guys. This is Road to BOC, episode number four. So, in this, uh, well, in last episode, we went over the sinking right here, sinking of these little intros, and then we went over some automatic sinking in the cinematics. So, it looks pretty nice. I just, um, looked over it myself, and I'm not gonna show you guys because, you know, that's just 35 seconds wasting of your time. But, um, it looks pretty nice, and I'll just let you guys, I'll leave you guys at that. But what I'm gonna do right now is start the clip. So, I need to find what the first my first clip is called because it was on launch, the same map. So I'm just gonna go here. Sorry about that, guys. My little brother interrupted me, even though I told him like probably 45 seconds ago. I'm gonna be making a tutorial. Don't piss me off. And he came in anyways. So I need to find the clip, and I'm pretty sure. So it wasn't launch, but no, it's not launch. What was the map? Where is it? I don't even know the, the name of the map anymore, to be honest. But this is the clip. I don't know why there was music playing in the background, but uh, yeah, as you saw, it was just a nice, simple quad feed. So it's called QF ACOG, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to go here, go to my clips, and QF ACOG, there it is right there. So I'm going to make a new composition of this clip, and you'll see why. I'm going to make another folder, no, another folder, and I call this use clips, oh, whatever. And I'm going to drag that into there, and drag this out, and then on my QF ACOG, I'm going to rename it and call it first clip okay then I'm going to find where the clip actually starts so that's the only reason why I'm pre-composing it I think that's the clip, yeah right there so right there I'm going to put I'm going to first put trim that and as you can see well you can't see it just yet but if I zoom in here, on here the song goes up quiet right there and the bass drops there so if I go to, from 1 to 2, it's a good 3 seconds there. So what I'm going to do is, in my first clip, I'm going to put Twixter here and adjust the frame rate and everything. Okay, I'm going to put this on half, actually, because I can't see jack shit. Uh, inverse the smart blend, contrast, edge enhance, all that good stuff. Then I'm going to keyframe it from 100. I'm going to go here and put it to, like, 10. And you can see we've got a tiny bit of warp in, but it's not too bad. And um, I'm actually going to put it to 5. Okay. So now, if I go through this, it takes a you know, good 5 seconds to get there. Right? And then, okay, and then right there, I'm going to trim it to the twixter. And now you can see, oh, like it's, like it's done the clip. I'm going to drag this and keep going until I find where it's scoped in for the first kill. So it might take a while. Okay, so... Right there. Trim that. Go to the end of this clip. And bring it there. So if I go, if I go through there... Yeah, perfect. Okay. So... I got that down, and I'm just going to put a marker where he gets a shot. Right there, shift one. I'm going to make a new adjustment layer, and I'm going to put on a few things. So first of all, I'm going to go back 10 frames, trim it there. I'm going to type in transform, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. Okay. I'm going to scale, I'm going to keep from the scale, and position just you know to have more of an effect one go to my one marker sorry I'm gonna put this to 125 and I'm gonna put the position that no actually I'm gonna put it up why not so something you know just some bit a bit of movement just to make it more interesting and I'm gonna go over one two three four five six seven eight nine uh actually I'll, I'll do seven and I'm gonna put this down to um, 105. Let me put this back to 360, which is the normal position. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of that position thing. That wasn't really necessary. 
I'm going to go over 20 frames and put it to 100. I'm going to trim that. So that's the first, like, that's the scaling on the first shot. So if I just easy ease these. Okay, so now it zooms in, bam, and just nice and smooth. Now I can add a simple twitch. Bam. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna get twitch itself, wherever it is. Get rid of the animation presets. Eh, animation presets. And I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I do for twitch. So first of all, go to enable, enable blur, slide. And light, um, yeah, why not? Okay, now go to operation controls in the light, dim it down a bit. So put the light amount to like 20. Okay, so now if I turn it on and off, you can see this tiny bit difference. Yeah, just you know, just a nice little light. Um, for the blur, leave it as it is. And then for the slide, um, for the slide amount, I'm gonna put this down to 25. Yeah, so it's just a tiny bit less. And then for the RGB, I'm gonna put this to 5, so it's just. Uh, no, a bit less, a bit less, too. So it's just a slight color sheen going on. Okay, now get rid of those and everything. Operation control, you can minimize that. Then I'm going to go to the beginning of here. Keyframe the speed and amount. Hit U. Um, and then I'm going to put the amount to zero. When I get to my one, I'm going to put the speed to two. Go over one frame. And then put this to ten. Go back to my one and put the amount to like I don't know what was it at before fifty? I know it was at hundred. I'm gonna put it to eighty. So now it's just a fast twitch. And when I get to the end of here, so oh, I want the speed to be at zero. And I want the amount to go up a bit though, so it'd be so it gets slower, but the twitches will be bigger. So that I'll be really fast. Bit da -da 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 -da. And then the twitches would be really slow like that. And you know what? That's actually I'm gonna drag that to there because it goes on for a bit too long. Then as always, easy easies. So now if we go here, and yeah, just a nice little clean twitch, and go through there. So I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna put twitch on all the shots, and then in my main comp, um, I'm gonna listen to the audio and see what effects I could put that sound synchronize uh, somewhat to the song so um, I like like how this is looking so far um, just like that and I'm gonna split that and I'm gonna put a twixter because I want to put a twixter after every single shot okay and then I can just speed it up um, in my main comp 59.4 inverse the smart blend you know the deal Oopsies, go back to here. Bam, and then put this to like 15. And then it comes in like that. And then I want it to like. Where. Okay, so he gets a shot like right about here. Split the layer, do the twixter, and then we got some configuration to do. So I'm gonna go here and just keep going until it finds where he's scoped in. Okay, right there. I'm gonna go over. Okay, so it's perfect. So we got that. So, and bam. Nice little twixter. Bam. Second shot is hit right there. Two. I'm gonna duplicate this and then hit U so I can find um, those keyframes right there. No. Nope. Right there. Okay. And there we go. Nice little twitch again. And then for this one, I want to twixter it a lot. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna do something pretty cool. So shift, um, you know, split the layer, whatever it's called. Um, twixtor, as always, inverse, smart blend, contrast, edge enhance, speed 100, and then put this to like 10. And then it's gonna get pretty sick. And uh, I'm gonna put the speed even slower. I'm gonna put this to five, because you're gonna see what, what what I'm gonna do is pretty cool. Okay, and then right here I'm gonna make it go fast. So get rid of that. And I'm gonna make this this comp a bit bigger.
you guys might be like, what is he doing? Why is he doing all this like weird twixer and all this thing? I have a reason for all my things. <laughs> You'll see why. I'm gonna sync it up in the main comp. But right now I'm just doing the main concept of what I do. So I did a twixer. And then find where he's scoped in. So, trim it there, go back. Okay, that's perfect. So, what I'm going to do is, this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to turn, first of all, I'm going to go to the front of this. I'm going to turn off this, make a new adjustment there, trim it, put it underneath my Twitch so it's got affected by the Twitch as well. I'm going to type in CC Light Rays. Everyone, everyone should know what that is by now. And center I'm gonna put it on the on the dudes because it's gonna be a nice little collateral. Then for the radius I'm gonna bring it down. Intensity bring it up. And I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm just thinking of random things in my head. So I'm gonna drag on shine onto the CC light race. And click um, blend mode to add. Um I'm gonna put the same thing Okay, now what I want to do is make a rough mask of the character. I'm, I'm just trying to random things, guys. Like, it's going to be like a mask like that. Okay. Mask path. And I'm just going to feather it to see what it looks like, because I want to know if it's actually going to work. Um, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I might use that. Mask path, and then I go over 10 frames. And I don't think I need to actually adjust it. Maybe towards the end, I'll go here, and maybe adjust that a bit, zoom in, like bam bam, type of thing, just so I can have a keyframe. And yeah, so that's about it, and then just keep going, and I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna make it start dying down right before it splits. So I'm gonna trim the layer here, I'm gonna go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 40 frames. Shine opacity, go to the end, bring it to zero. Go back one, two, three, four. Then the um, intensity and radius. One, two, three, four. Zero and zero. Okay, so let's just go over this quickly. It looks pretty cool. Just like a little shine on the dude. And I need to make sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe the center here and keyframe this center. And I gotta make sure this one is in the middle. Cause that's the main concept. And then this one is in the middle. And then I'm gonna go over one, two, three, so thirty frames. And I'll just make sure each of them is still in the middle. Sorry about that. Once again my little brother interrupted me, but um, I'm just gonna carry on with the the tutorial. So I'm just gonna go over thirty frames, one, two, three. And I'm just gonna keep adjusting it just so there's a tiny bit of movement. And click on there and just you know adjust it a bit. And I'm just gonna go all the way to the end. And I'm just gonna bring it up a bit. Put it in his head. I wanna see what that looks like. On his head his head. So let's just see. Yeah, so the movement just kinda gets gets a little bit random. And I could play with the um intensity of this little thing. No, not the intensity. Let's play with the radius. Put it up. I don't know. You could play play with the sense a bit. I'm gonna play with my shine sense right now. And I'm gonna easy is ease. Wait, no. Gotta look what I'm look when what easy is. Uh, easy is everything but the center, and the mask. Never easy is mask. Um, is that the center? Yeah. Opacity easy is. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to my shine. And go to colorize, and I want it to change colors. So I'm gonna keyframe it from Mars, which is no, it's on fire right now. Yeah, on fire. So colorize keyframe, and then put it to the end. And I'm gonna put it to electric. Yeah. So it starts getting. Um, it should be right at the beginning. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm gonna play with that again. 
Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way because right now it's being stupid. So, what I'm gonna do is go here and put this on electric, then go here and then put it on fire. I'm gonna take out the keyframes for both those, and right here I'm gonna keyframe these. Go to the end and then put that to that, put that to that, and then put that to that, and then I can get rid of my shine too. Okay, so now we actually have it keyframe and it's actually working. So it's changing colors, right? Now it's like becoming a, a nice white, and then it's towards the end it's blue. Let's see, yeah, so it's kind of blue there. Okay, so that's about it for that. Now I'm gonna duplicate my Twitch, hit you, and I can turn this back on actually, and find where it starts, which is right there where did it start Ugh. right there okay that's where it starts and yeah so that's that and then I'm just gonna twigster it right here twigstore twigster pro drag it on and just twister this out. You guys know the deal. Put it from 15. And I'm gonna go to here. Put it to one. So it just slowly gets um, slower. And I'm actually gonna break it to like five. Okay, now I wanna add a bit more, not effects, but like, I want to add something cooler to this, so I'm going to make a new solid, I'm going to call this flare, and I'm going to trim that, bam, I'm going to go to effect, video copilot, optical flare, options, and just give it a second to load because it takes a while, oh, that was quick, um, there's one of them that I really enjoy, I'm pretty sure it's like golden sun, yeah, golden light, sorry. I like that one. It's clean. So I got that. I'm gonna put this on add mode. I'm gonna turn this off for a second so I know exactly where it is and what it's doing. Put that there. And then bring this here so we have the shimmer in. Then I can turn this back on and see how it looks. Now I realize, oh, I want this to be more, oopsie, wrong one. I want this to be here so I can see my light like that. So that's good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is also click on the brightness and hit wiggle. No, I don't know how an accent came in W like that, but it did. Wiggle bracket. I'm going to make this 0 0.2. So every 0 0.2 sec. No, it's 0 0.2 times. I don't know. Just put 0 0.2. That's what I like. <laughs> And then put like 15. Yeah. So like 0 0.2 times a second. It rotates 15 times. Yeah, that's it. And then what I'm going to do is go here. Keyframe the X, Y in the center. And go where the this thing ends. Put this to there. What did I just do? Oh. I was on that. <laughs> we'll see. I was on the. I was on the transform, and then bring this center closer, so I can get that nice shimmer. And that's about it for that. And then I can just have it end. End right there. Okay. So so far we just have a nice clean looking clip, with a nice twitch, twitch, slow mo, twitch, slow mo with a nice little effect on the dude. And then once again, we got some Twitch and an op optical flare, and that's it. So in the next episode, I'm going to sync this up, and yeah, I'll sync it up, and I'll start on the second clip, but I'm going to add a cinematic, I'm just going to need to think of what I want to add, and I'm going to listen to the song a few times, but uh, yeah, so that's about it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on episode number four. Nope, five.